Howard Stern Show. But you say your your relationship with Ted Harbert was the guy who used to run E yeah. a million years ago. Your you friends. say that's right. Have right. you seen him? No. I'm going to see him later today at Jimmy Fallon. I'm sure. Right. He still works for NBC. Some, I used to, in some I, capacity. I no used, one knows exactly what he does. Yeah, he used Even to come. Ted doesn't know. What he, he visited does. me a couple of times when I worked with NBC, and Ted, uh, you said over the course of four years that he ended up annoying you. So here is a guy you're dating, you were living with more than dating, probably almost married to. This was, to me, your one big serious relationship. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how many years did you go out with this Four. guy? Four. Four years. And you even thought you'd be with him the rest of your life. But then suddenly you start to realize he's annoying me. Now, I think this is an important point. What starts happening? The very things you love the most about a person start to annoy you, don't they? Exactly. Like, if you marry a woman with a British accent, and when you first meet her, you're mm -hmm. like, oh, this is the classiest, coolest thing. Yep. And then as she starts to sicken you, you go, that <laughs> fucking goddamn British accent. I you're don't, on I'm, the money. <laughs> Absolutely what, everything you're saying. What was it when you were in a relationship with this lovely man that started to annoy you? I remember meeting him, and he used to eat those, like, light ruffles, you know, like, f half calorie ruffles. Oh, sure. Okay. What are it's, ruffles? The potato chip. Ruffles have ridges. <laughs> yeah. Right. The potato chip, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you thought it was cute when he ate potato so chips. It's like an autistic response. Ruffles have ridges. <laughs> they do. He, I remember the commercial. He, well, so does Ted. And yeah. So he'd have those. <laughs> Light ruffles, and he would dip them into salsa, uh -huh. like you know, but canned salsa, not like pico de gallo, like like gross canned some shit. And in the beginning, oh. I had never seen anybody dip potato chips in salsa. Okay. Like, I was like, that's funny, and that's cute. But it was cute. Yeah. yeah like, I've oh, only wow. seen people dip tortilla chips yeah. into salsa. I'm learning new things. And by the end of that relationship, every time I saw that fucking salsa come out, <laughs> and he would break the chips into tiny little, like, pieces. the tiniest little pieces, and shovel so much fucking salsa onto the <laughs> Like his thumb would get then, in the salsa. And then, and then th shove it into his mouth. Ah. This gargantuan pile of shit, and I I would just look at him and go, I fucking hate you. Oh, that's, you're I so honest. I fucking hate you. See, this is what I love about you. I would, I would fantasize that if I was in a relationship with you, you would tell me when you started hating me so I wouldn't have to guess at it. You would let well, me know. Well, did she tell Ted? Yes. She did. You did. I think everybody, even if you're not like as forthright as maybe I am or you're not as... You're, everybody can pick up on a signal. So Are he, you too forthright? Yeah, I'm sure I am. When you break up with a man, is it very direct? Do you ever go like, hey, I am sick of you. I, and here's why you eat chips and you, uh, you, you, you put too much sauce on them. Are you very direct? Yeah, I'm very you direct. Are. Wow, I don't know if I could handle that. The day I broke up with Ted was one of the best breakup days. You know when you kind of envision how you want to... Oh, bye, Robin. You know how you kind of envision the way you want to make your breakups or yeah. do your breakups yeah. and you fuck it up through your whole life. Like you're always like, I wish I didn't say that. I wish I had said this or that's stronger. Always. The day I broke up with Ted was the day I was like, you are like, that was like a, so powerful because he was so out of line and he was really pushing me out the door. And I literally you walked in. You feel he was pushing you no, out. No, no. Like he was making me crazy. Like right. I was felt like he was, I was going crazy. Right. And when I said I was, I said, I'm walking out the door and you'll never see me here again. And he was like, good, good, get out. And I knew he would be like, you know, two hours later, like calling me incessantly. But I meant it. And right. I had a place to go. I had had an apartment for weeks. And I walked out that door and I was like, all right, girl, like you just did that. And now you're like, and I was about to go on this huge stand up tour. And it was like, you know, going to be crazy time while I was doing my show. And I just the last thing I needed was him up my ass the way he had been. And so that was a good breakup. Like, hmm, I because you got everything out <clears throat> yes. in the open. I did it. I said it, and I meant it. Because sometimes you're trying to break up with someone and you don't mean it. You're just like, mean, come and get me back. And blah, but, blah, blah. But, but, but does that mean you give a laundry list of the things you didn't like in the relationship? No, we had been going to therapy, and it was not good for a while. And he knew, but I mean, you did know. Did he eat chips during the breakup? No, it was no. too early in the morning. Yeah. The Howard Stern Show.